our shipwreck coin break, and I want to wish everybody good luck. We are looking for treasure, matey. Arr, it is a shipwreck edition coin. It's a shipwreck coin. It's certified to be in a shipwreck. We have our four runners, or excuse me, our six runners in filler D. So that this is filler D taking place. We'll get two more into the break, and then we'll start the rip, where everybody's going to get a code number. Yeah, everybody's going to get a code number. So wishing you all the very best. Let's start up the race. Na -na 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 -na. Shuffle seven times. Two, three, four, five, six. Lucky number seven. On your mark, get set, go. Lisa and Frank in a race in a dash. The green number four jersey is out front. <laughs> Three, two, one. Look at that, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. Out of nowhere comes the yellow number two. That's first place. Who got second? Lisa scores big. Well, congratulations, Lisa. I don't know. Maybe it was the red jersey guy. It's kind of hard to tell. But uh, it is second place for Lisa. And boom. There you have it. We have our... Everyone with their spots in the rip. Let's start it up. We're going to randomly see who gets which code numbers here in Shipwreck 328. And let's get over to the randomizer. So we're going to randomize both lists. Seven times a piece. And then stack the lists up side by side to see who gets which code. Oh my. Lucky number seven, the first random is finished. Oh my. It is a shipwreck coin. Seven times. Lucky number seven. All right, we got everybody with their code numbers. Ahoy. <laughs> Ahoy. Ho.
Wow, I'm wishing everybody the best of luck. Always super exciting. In the graded silver dollar shipwreck edition. What's it going to be coming out of here? A genuine shipwreck coin with a code number five. Number five. Lisa, congratulations. Lisa in this coin. Kind of a rip here. A lot of definition. I tell you, a lot of these don't have that definition. Uh, like this one does. You can make out every letter. And really see see what the coin originally looked like. I mean, that's a good representation right there. This is probably the most easiest. Yeah, I can even see there's a line in the crest. This is the... There's another line. I, I've never had this much. This must be candlesticks. I've never seen that much definition in one of these shipwreck coins. I bet you those are candlesticks. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. It looks like three candles to me. I see the letter R there with some pluses or something. All kinds of definition. Nice hit. Now, the other side's pretty flattened out. <laughs> I bet you this was the side that was exposed to the to the elements or something. But I don't know much about these. It could be that all of these are pressed to have one side. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I think, though, that it originally had two sides. Because uh, I've seen other coins have the, the other side is more defined. So, for as much as this one gets all the goodness on this side the other side's like oh <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> okay now now i can see uh um the difference here so that's really cool i've never that's just amazing but for as good as that other side looks this one looks Pretty uh, worn from the elements of the sea. And so, anyway, really cool. Congratulations, Lisa. I'm happy for you. It's a great hit. And those are just fun breaks. We have some other great stuff coming up along here, too. We got more, more fun, more action coming.